What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to bridge your connection from your router slash modem to your router that you'd rather prefer it be on. Uh, this is going to work with the NVG589 from AT&T. Uh, to, to start off, you're going to make sure that you have your uh, computer or laptop hardwired to the router slash modem uh, because you're going to be turning wireless off so you can't be on your Wi-Fi when you're doing this. So make sure that you are hardwired from your router slash modem from AT&T. So to get started you're going to go ahead and go to home network and once you go to your home network you're going to go to uh, subnets and DHCP. Um, this number can be whatever you prefer it to be uh, but keep in mind the last number digit on the start and end address have to be 1 and 5. Uh, once you have those set you're going to go ahead and scroll down and hit save and then you're going to go ahead and go to wireless. Once you go to wireless this is where you're going to turn it off and press save. This is why you need to be hardwired because then you would lose connection right here. Once you do this you're going to go to firewall and you're going to go to packet filter and you're going to make sure that packet filter is disabled. So you're going to disable packet filters and when that's once that's done you're going to go ahead and go to IP pass through. IP pass through you're going to make the allocation mode pass through. Pass through mode is going to be DHCPS fixed and the pass through fixed MAC address you're going to get it from your uh, wireless router which you want it connected to. So you're going to go ahead and input that in the manual entry. You're going to go ahead and press save. Once you do that you're going to go to firewall advanced and you're going to make sure that all this is turned off. Once it's turned off, you're going to go ahead and press save and it's going to prompt you to restart your router. While it's restarting, you're going to go ahead and disconnect your hardwired to the router slash modem and connect the wire to your router which you want it to connect to. You're going to hardwire it directly to it and you're going to go to its uh, default uh, address. Uh, you're going to go ahead and input your password if you have one and you're going to go ahead and go to uh, IPv6 and you're going to scroll down and go to manual IPv6 internet connection. Uh, my router is a uh, direct 850L or AC 1200 D-Link uh, so I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, my connection is to auto configuration and once you do that you're just going to scroll down leave everything untouched and you're going to put the auto configuration to SLAAC stateless DHCP and press settings save settings once you do that you're going to go ahead and go to wireless settings and you're going to go ahead and go to manual wireless connection setup where with my router I have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz band since it's a dual band and you're going to go ahead and make the network name whatever you want it to be and put your password in at the bottom and press save. After this you should restart your uh, wireless router and then connect the wireless router to the uh, modem slash router from AT&T. You're going to connect that and once you turn it on it should work properly and there should be no problems and your wireless internet should be working and your bridge connection should have worked successfully. Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate and subscribe.